Hi everybody, so back in video 1702 we made this thing which is a portable methanol heater for home heating. Loads of people have remade it and said it works wonderfully but a few people have complained and what they've complained about is this which is the central burner unit. The main complaint, in fact the only complaint I've heard about this is this stuff. We use this stuff, a pure 100% carbon felt that's in there as the wick and it basically lasts for absolutely ages and people were saying they're having a great deal of difficulty getting hold of this stuff and I thought well that's a shame. So what I thought I would do is an update on that video showing you a different way of making that wick that I think is as good and <laughs> it's just stupidly easy to make. In order to make it, what you need are a couple of bean cans, empty preferably, and these are bog standard bean cans, and I've had the food out of them and washed them. We also need this. This is a smaller 300 gram tin of mushy peas. Doesn't matter what's in there, as long as the pea can fits inside the bean can rather neatly like that, and these smaller cans will do. Now we also use this stuff if you remember and this is stainless steel mesh. It's the stuff that's used to keep insects and rodents out of your basement and out of your eaves. And it's a one millimetre wide mesh. So with those things and the head of this adult sock, we should be able to do a different kind of burner. It's proving it's an old sock that is easier uh, to make than that one and at least it's good. Now to start this we need a couple of strips of this stuff. The mesh is pretty marvellous and cuts really easily with scissors and we need two bits of it at 27 centimetres long. Now it is 150 millimetres wide. The first thing you do is like, fold up an L like that. Then you get your second bit, put it into the joint of your L, fold it over Put your ruler back. There we go. Give that a press with either whacking it with a mallet or putting it into a clamp or a vise and that joins those two bits together and then we also need to join those two edges together. So when I've done that I've got a flat sock of stainless steel. Now I take my can of peas, open it, wash out the peas, cut off the bottom and I end up with a tube of steel just like that. And what I need to do is to the bottom of that tube cut four nicks. One, Four. and then bend those nicks in like that. There we go. Now I'm not sure if I should tell you or not, but remember, steel is sharp. So watch out for your fingers when you're doing this. Then what we do is we feed that into our stainless steel sock and you should find it just fits. There we go, one tight fitting sock of stainless steel and a can of empty peas. I love this stuff. Now what you do is you take your ordinary sock and we're going to feed it into there, just at the lip of the pea can. Okay, when you've done that, cut it off of itself at about 8 centimetres or so, and then fold it back on itself so it makes a double thickness of sock. We go, and if you've got a bit sticking out, trim it off. And then we stuff it in there, and it should be a reasonably tight fit, but you should get it in. Okay, so what I've done is taken the second tin and cut off to the first rib a section of it. Now, I hate to say this, and, and I'm sorry I said it about the sharp edges, eh? but I can guarantee some moron is going to post a comment going, you didn't tell about the sharp edges, like we don't know a tin is sharp, okay? So once we've cut that off, that will actually be the top like that, and it's going to go on there like that, and that's the burner complete. Because what we need to do now is fill it. Now, in the previous burner, this section came apart so we could fill it really easily. And this one, obviously, we've put the section right the way down the tin. Now, the idea is that this will get hot. 
it'll be dipping into the methanol, which will help the methanol evaporate, which will evaporate, and the flame will stick to the mesh like it did in the previous heater. But in the previous heater, this was on top, and it was loose, and people did say they're a bit worried about that being loose, and I thought, well, that's a fair comment, actually, because it does mean you need a bit more care. But when you're filling this thing, you're now going to need a funnel. So you grab yourself a funnel, grab yourself some methanol, and fill it through the funnel. And a word of warning. If you've never done anything like this before, don't fill it right to there. Put a little bit in, give it a go and see what happens. Watch the video playing with fire for all of that stuff that people moan on about. You know, uh, too near to things that are flammable, carbon monoxide, blah, 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 blah. Just have a look at that video and it'll tell you all about how you should handle fire and flames and burners if you've never done it before. Anyway, we've got it filled, we pop our lid back on and we're ready to go. Now to light it, there we go, we put some methanol on here and then hold a match to it or hold a lighter to it. We won't see that because methanol burns blue. So I'm going to turn out the light and then light it. I feel a bit ridiculous doing this, but just to warn you, remember, it does get hot because it's a heater. It's an open flame, so if you've never done anything like this before, do watch the video playing with fire. It'll give you some guidance on it. You'll notice mine's on a great big tile, and I'm not stood that near to it because it is an open flame heater after all, and you have to give them the due respect that they deserve, and it will get hot, it stays nice and toasty. But there we go, how to make that heater with an old sock. Now that sock will burn down. It'll burn down over time quite slowly and will eventually need replacing, unlike the um, carbon felt, but it works beautifully, and I certainly have plenty of socks with holes in them. So that's it, that's how to make your heater with an old sock. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.